So welcome back. Uh, we want to look at another example on calculating or approximating area using the mid ordinate rule. Draw the graph of y equals to negative a half x squared minus 1 for values of x from 0 to 5 and hence estimate the area bounded by the curve, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x equals to 5 using 5 ordinates. So we've already come up with a table of the values of x and the corresponding values of y for x from 0 to 5. Uh, when x is 0, we substitute there in our equation. So this for values of x up to 5, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 1.5, all the way up to 5 up to negative 13.5. On plotting that on a graph paper, I'll just do a sketch, we'll have a graph of this nature. So this is the graph of y equals to negative a half x squared minus 1. And we need the area bounded by that curve the x-axis, so this is the other boundary. The y-axis, this is the other boundary. And the line x equals to 5, so we get that boundary there. The line x equals to 5. So this is the area that we need. And we need to use 5 ordinates. So if you are to use 5 ordinates, so what is the length? The length is from 0 to 5. So the total length we have there is 5 units. So if we need to use 5 ordinates, how many rectangles are we going to get? Uh, that is, we are going to be having as well 5 uh, rectangles. So what will be the height or what will be the value of H in this case? H will be the 5 units that we've got. We divide by the number of rectangles that we need, which are 5. So again, we're going to have a height or a h, a width of 1 unit, 1 unit. Therefore, from 0, this will be our first uh, rectangle, 0 to 1. The other one will be at from 1 to 2. The next one, 2 to 3. The next one, 3 to 4. That is at 3 to 4. And finally, we have 4 to 5. Let me go ahead and talk of the area should be equal to H into, we have 5 ordinates, so Y0 plus Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y4. Then again, we need to get the values of this Ordinates. Therefore, we go ahead and get y not y1, y2, y3, and y4. Don't forget that y not will be at the midpoint of 1 and 2. So this will be the value of y when x is 1.5. Uh, sorry. We are starting from 0. So the first rectangle is from 0 to 1. So our first y naught will be when x is 0 0.5. That is it there. Then we create a rectangle. Then the second one will be at 1.5. The second one at 2.5. That is the third the fourth one at 3.5, and finally at 4.5. So again, we must go back and get y not y1, y2, y3, y4. Please note this table just helped us to draw the graph. But now when we need the ordinates, we need the ordinate at the midpoint. So the first ordinate, y not is when x 
equals to 0 0.5. Can add these values here so that we get our ordinates. The second one will be when x is 1.5. So this will be 1.5 at 2.5 at 3.5 and finally at 4.5. On calculating this, uh, these are values I've already calculated. This will be negative 1.125. This will be negative 2.125. This is negative 2.5625. This will be negative 7.125. And finally, negative 11.125. Please note that our graph is on the lower side of the x-axis find the values of y are negative. Then we'll now go ahead and get the area as h, our height is one unit. Therefore it will be one into y naught, which is, and this is the case now, this is negative 1.125. Uh, 1 Being a negative value, I'm interested with the height of a rectangle. So there are two things I can do here. I can drop the negative and I take the height as the absolute value. That is 1.125. So you go ahead. All these values you can see they are negative. So in this case we just drop the negative value. We take the absolute value so that this will be 1.125 plus 2.125 plus 2.5625 plus 7.125 plus 11.125 and because this is 1 then the area is simply the sum of these ordinates which is giving us a value of 24.0625 which will be 24 that is approximately 24.0625 significant figures, that is square units. In this case, I have dropped the negative values. There would be no harm if somebody opted for taking the heights as they are, so that the area would be 1 times, we take this as negative 1.125, plus negative 2.125 plus all the way up to negative 11.125. Then you'll get your area as negative 24.0625. Uh, the negative here, when you're now giving the area, will not give the area with the negative. The negative simply suggests that the area that you are calculating is below the x-axis. That is, the area we have calculated is below the x-axis. That's why you find that area carrying the negative. So, when we go ahead now to give the answer, even though we've calculated the area, we've gotten it's negative 24.0625, we'll give the area as the absolute value without showing the negative. Therefore, the area will be 24.06 square units. So please, the simplest way to do it is if you find all the heights here are negative, then just carry the y-ordinate with the absolute value. I hope you've been able to follow the two examples that you've done on the mid-ordinate rule. I'll be sending some more questions your way so that you put into practice the mid-ordinate rule. Have a nice time.